You know, I walked yeah, into yeah. this, uh, my life was on fire. I was walking out of hell. Shia LaBeouf reveals he battled dark thoughts after his public scandals and how a new movie role changed his life in a major way. The actor opens up in an interview with Word on Fire Catholic Ministries Bishop Robert Barron. Shia's tone is serious when discussing what his life was like before taking on the role of sainted Catholic figure Padre Pio, admitting he, quote, hurt people in the past. I came in here on fire and, and I didn't want to be an actor anymore. And my life was a mess, complete mess. And I had hurt a lot of people. And I felt deep shame, and deep guilt. I didn't like to go outside much. I really, like, I had a, I had a, a yearning not be here anymore. Because at this point, I'm nuclear. Nobody wants to talk to me, including my mother. The manager's not calling. The agent's not calling. I'm, um, I, I'm, I'm not connected to the business anymore. I had a gun on the table. I was out of here. Uh, I didn't want to be alive anymore when all of this happened, OK? Uh, shame like I had never experienced before. Kind of shame, you forget how to breathe. And, um, and it stops being this like prep of a movie. And it starts being something that feels beyond all that. To prepare for his role as Padre Pio, Shia lived in a monastery for a time. The experience eventually led him to convert to Catholicism. LaBeouf is famous for his methodical dedication to his roles. Recently, actress Olivia Wilde spoke about firing him from her upcoming directorial effort, Don't Worry Darling. She told Variety, I say this as someone who is such an admirer of his work. He has a process that, in some ways, seems to require a combative energy, and I don't personally believe that is conducive to the best performances. Olivia went on to say she wanted to foster a, quote, safe, trusting environment for her cast members. E! News reached out to LaBeouf's rep for comment on Olivia's statements, but did not hear back. His movie, Padre Pio, is set for release on September 9th.